Hello, and welcome to our tutorial of the SCADA library support feature in Typhoon Hill SCADA. Typhoon Hill Schematic Editor has supported the user library concept for a while. There, user libraries allow you to package components so you can use them across multiple models. From the 2021.3 version of the software, Typhoon Hill software supports this same concept in the Hill SCADA tool. In Hill SCADA, two visual widgets are used in place of a subsystem, group and subpanel. These two widgets help with linking components from Schematic Editor with the Hill SCADA interface. This library mechanism lets you perform automatic change propagation. In other words, every change to a library component is instantly reflected in all its instances and models and panels where the library component or widget is used. This stands in contrast to copying components or widgets from model to model or from SCADA panel to SCADA panel where complete component definitions are cloned without referencing the original. For demonstration we will use our user libraries example. Let's open the model. The model consists of a PV panel, an NPC inverter, and a grid simulator. As you can see in the model, the NPC PV inverter component is missing. The reason for this is that this component is actually a user-modified NPC PV inverter component saved in the user component library. To open a user library, go to File, Open, and Open Library. In the folder user underscore lib you can find the user library. Let's open user library. Here we can see the user modified NPC PV inverter. Since library components in Schematic Editor and Hill Skate are implemented as links to their common library definition rather than as separate instances, changes are propagated immediately once the model or panel opens. Components in a user library can be placed either at root level or organized using category components. Category components are specialized subsystem components used exclusively in libraries. They can contain any number of components within them, including other category component instances. Now it is time to include the user library in Schematic Editor so we can run the model. To do that we need to add the path of the user library folder in the user library path. The user library settings are global settings for both Schematic Editor and Hillscada tools. Now let's add the path. Go to File, Modify Library Path. The user library's path settings dialog will open. Let's go to Browse and find the user lib folder. Let's select the folder. If we want to use this library in only one schematic editor session, we can go to apply temporarily. To set the global library's path, go to apply and save. Now let's reload libraries and reload the model. As you can see the NPC PV inverter component is no longer a missing component in the model. The component is now linked to the user component library. It is possible to unlink the component. When a component is unlinked, it behaves as a regular subsystem. Now let's compile and load the model. Before we run the simulation, Let's talk about the widget user library feature. To create or edit a widget library or library widgets inside a library, you need to open the desired model in Hillscada. Then either click on the create new widget library or open widget library button located in the central panel. You can also do this by selecting the new widget library or the load widget library action from the panel toolbar menu. When creating a new widget library, specify the library name in a short description. This can be changed later by selecting the Widget Library Settings Panel Menu Action. Here you can define the name of the Widget Library as well as the Widget Library's description. Now let's open an already existing User Widget Library from the User Lib folder. As you can see, this user widget library consists of three user widgets. 
these widgets are linked to types of components from the model. There is a possibility to link a component type from the model using either the group or sub-panel widgets. Let's look at the existing widget links. To link a widget with a particular type of component, go to the group's properties. In this case, let's open the properties of the NPC PV inverter group. Here we can see tabs for basic settings, widget settings, initialization script, and link to model component. In the last tab, we can see that this group is connected to the component from the schematic user library that we added a few moments ago. To find the type of the considered component, you can go back to schematic editor, right click on the component, and copy component information to the clipboard. Possible information includes component type, component name, and component fully qualified name. Now let's return to the user widget library. The link between the component and the widget will automatically add variables to the local namespace of the group or sub-panel. These variables are component name, component fully qualified name, component type, and the dictionary of the component properties of the linked component. These variables together with SCADA API are useful in order to configure the widget. Widgets in a user library can be placed at the root level or organized using category components. A category widget is a specialized subsystem widget used exclusively in libraries. It can contain any number of widgets including other category widget instances. In this example the name of the inverter text box, nominal voltage display, and nominal frequency display widgets are configured using auto-generated variables from the local namespace of the group. Also, critical and warning ranges in the two gauges widgets are configured using component properties from the linked NPC PV inverter component. Now, it is time to open the dedicated SCADA panel. First, let's close the user widget library. Let's open the NPC PV Inverter SCADA panel file found in the model directory. At the bottom of the library, we can see the user widget library. The user underscore lib consists of a schematic library and a widget library. As mentioned before, the path added in schematic editor will propagate to hill SCADA. As advised in the note, let's drag and drop all three user widgets to the blank panel. When we add a user widget, the library widget dialog will open. In the dialog we can establish the link between the component from the model and the widget. In the selected component from the model part of the dialog, you can find basic information about the component such as name, fully qualified name, and type of component. Let's click OK. We have now successfully included a user widget from the user widget library and linked it to a model component. All widgets inside of the group are locked. Also, there is a possibility to unlink the widget. When the widget is unlinked, it behaves as regular visual widget. In the regular visual widgets, it is possible to change and modify all widgets inside of the group or sub-panel. Now, let's insert other widgets and run the simulation. Also, there is a possibility to open a user widget library directly from the panel. The selected widget will be marked for easier navigation in the user widget library panel. To summarize, in this video, we showed how to use and create new schematic editor libraries and hill SCADA libraries. Thank you for watching.